What's going on guys? Today, we're gonna get into a couple reasons why cybersecurity might not be the fit for you. Now, there's a lot of push out there, right, for cybersecurity, and it's understandable because there is a large market for it right now, and there's a huge gap of unfilled work. But it needs to be said that there's some things that maybe might push you off and deter you from coming and joining cybersecurity or IT as a whole. So let's get into the first one. The first one is that cybersecurity Cybersecurity is a stepping stone of a career in most cases. What I mean by that is it's going to require some previous knowledge in IT to get into the field. Now, there are jobs out there that are entry level that you can get in without having prior IT experience. I'm an example of that. That's how I got into security. However, be mindful when you're looking for roles in cybersecurity, a lot of the times you're going to see that they're going to be requesting some kind of IT experience. Now, if it says anything under two to three years, just apply anyway. They could be okay with you not having experience as long as you have some certifications or maybe a degree under your belt. But it's just definitely something to look out for. You don't want to start looking into the field and saying, well, all these jobs are asking for experience. That's going to be the majority of them. There are minorities out there where you can get in and that's what you need to look for if that's you. Now, the next thing is there could be offline work at the position that you obtain in cybersecurity. If you are needed for uh, VPN work or firewall work, it could require that if it breaks, that you need to go in and, and just get it back up and running so the company can continue to work. Now, this is not horrible. Most of the time, these are fixes that you can do relatively you know, uh, quickly, uh, but it's just something that you need to be mindful of that this is sometimes not just a nine to five. And if you're in a larger company that depends more so on the VPN and maybe you're global, then you're gonna have to just be prepared for you know breaks and you know fix. And that might be after your nine to five hours. Now, another thing to mention about cybersecurity, there's constant change. If you're somebody that likes the same jobs day in and day out, then maybe it's not the best field for you. Now, there are other fields in IT that are more day to day, nothing changes. But with cybersecurity and the impact that it has on organizations, as well as the attack vectors that continue to just keep um, you know, finding new ways to infiltrate networks. You're going to have to stay on your toes and learn every day and change is inevitable. It's part of cybersecurity. You may learn a new tool or a new process and it becomes a vulnerability. And now all of a sudden you have to learn a different tool or process to function. And that is just part of the job. That's what goes with the job. And if you're okay with that, then you're fine. But for some people that that may be a turnoff and that's okay. Now, this next one, it just kind of piggybacks off of what I just said. It's a lot of learning. If you're not somebody that enjoys learning, it's going to be hard to thrive in this industry because like I said, hackers are not stopping. Every day you need to keep up with the latest vulnerabilities, the latest exposures, and the latest hacks. So in order to do that, you have to continue to learn. If you're not somebody that is privy to that, maybe you feel like when I'm out of college, I'm done learning like what I learned is what I learned and I just want to ride that until I retire that's fine but I really don't think that it'll be good for you in cybersecurity and this is one of those points where it's kind of like a heavy point like if you don't agree with this then it's it's going to be hard for you in security for sure so be mindful of that um, if you're somebody that doesn't like change there's plenty of other jobs out there. Don't waste your time because there's a lot of change in cybersecurity. Now, if you're introverted, you're going to have to talk. And I know that to some of you, you don't want a job where you're communicating all day, but it's kind of hard not to in cybersecurity. Um, unless you're in a role of a penetration tester where you're kind of left off to your own devices and even penetration testers, they have reports, they have to bring their reports to the organization that they're pen testing and give them feedback and mitigations. So even with that, you still need to be a little extroverted when it comes to that part of the job. 
Um, but typically for cybersecurity, you're going to have to kind of talk to other people in the organizations and get them to understand the mitigations and the risk factors associated with different vulnerabilities and things like that. You're not constantly talking all day and, you know, chit chat, extrovert job. But at the same time, understand that you can't be completely introverted. There is some communication um, in cybersecurity. Now, this last one can be easily fixed. It's just something to be aware of. There is a lot of sitting in cybersecurity. This is a desk job. Um, if you're somebody that likes to be up and moving around, there are other positions like networking where you're going to find yourself going from rack to rack to access point to access point, run a wire, all that kind of stuff. It's a little bit more physical, but this is something easily mitigated. Like I said, get yourself, you know, a treadmill or get yourself some kind of bike. That's what I do. And just get up and moving. And, you know, so you don't just spend a life of sitting at a desk because obviously that can be boring sometimes. So just keep that in mind that there's a lot of sitting in cybersecurity. It's a desk job. It could be kind of obvious for some of you. For some of you, you're like, oh, I didn't really think of that. So be mindful of that. Um, like I said, there's other roles out there where you're moving more, especially something like a network engineer. So if you're uh, more hands on and you want to move around, maybe look towards networking more so than cybersecurity. But it's just a point that I just wanted to make that you should be aware of that. So keep it in mind. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope that these couple things that I've mentioned can help you understand cybersecurity a little bit better. And maybe you saw one or two things in there and you're like, hey, you know, I don't really like that about security. Maybe I'll switch towards something like networking. Or maybe you're like, well, he said one thing that I didn't like, but I can, you know, get over that. Then come join us. But I always want to be transparent with this channel and that involves also giving you guys the truth when it comes to um, security and IT as a whole um, and what jobs may be good for you and what jobs might not be good for you. You don't want to spend years of school or studying through boot camps or anything like that. Time is, you know, worth more than that for you to do all of these things and then not like the role you're in. So be mindful of those things, guys, and I will catch you in the next video. See you later.